head and shoulders is a bearish reversal pattern which forms after a strong move upwards. It consists of a peak as the left shoulder, a higher peak as the head and a lower peak as the right shoulder and a neckline which is being drawn connecting the two lows between the shoulders. Let's take a look at the chart. In an uptrend, the first peak forms. After a small retracement, price pushes higher, creating a higher peak. But as the bull trend is getting exhausted, bears drive the price down again. Then, seeing this as an opportunity to buy cheaply, bulls jump back in again. But this time they fail to reach the previous high, and bears take control, driving the price down again. The same as with double top formation. The reversal signal is only valid after the price has broken the neckline, because a lot of time this is just consolidation phase before the uptrend resumes and price takes off creating new highs. This pattern can produce three different necklines. The first one is a neckline with a rising slope. This one has the largest probability of failing the pattern because there are no actual reversal signs as the price is still trending upwards and a lot of times you are more likely to see trend continuation instead of reversal. The second is a horizontal neckline. This is my favorite one because as we have said in our previous videos, the diagonal support and resistance levels are very subjective and only horizontal neckline will appear on your chart the same as on any other trader's charts. The third is a downward sloping neckline. This one produces the most reliable reversal signal as it has already managed to make a lower low. The price target for this formation should be the height from the neckline to the top, measured down from the breakout point. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our next video about the inverse head and shoulders and check out our other latest videos.